Before I dive into the technical details of using WebEx and what you can accomplish with it, I want to talk about one piece here that's going to be really important when you get into the details of creating a WebEx meeting. And that is, what is a WebEx meeting versus a WebEx personal room? When we're talking about um, this difference, it's really a matter of what the functionality is going to look like when you're in that meeting. Uh, a WebEx meeting is really designed to be a one-time meeting, and you can schedule those. You can have 14 WebEx meetings scheduled for a day. Um, but each individual meeting has its own participant list. It can be recorded on its own. Um, it, it has just different details that you can control around it, and it's really great for scheduling classes or sessions with others, uh, PLC times, things like that. That's really what a WebEx meeting is around. Most of what you're going to do is going to be a WebEx meeting. But I want to ex also explain a WebEx personal room. So every one of us has a license for WebEx. And as part of that, we have our own WebEx personal room. And we each have our own URL for that room. So if I want to just have a quick off-the-cuff meeting with uh, two or three other people, I could send them my web link for my personal room. They could jo join my personal room. We're in a WebEx meeting just like that. Um, with that, anyone with the link can join. So if you give 40 people the link to your, your personal room, that means any of them can bounce in there at any point in time, um, which can be really great for some specific scenarios. Uh, thinking about this from a class perspective, it can really be really good for having open office hours, um, tutoring times, any kind of quick group chats or, or meetups that you wanna have. Um, if you think about it, like in terms of a normal school day, um, you'd have your scheduled classes during the day, but maybe you, you have a, a, an open plan hour that students are allowed to come into, or after school you provide some tutoring or something like that. That's where a personal room can be really beneficial. And the other thing with a personal room that you can do is, while it is open, um, anyone can join, but you could have a student reach out to you and say, hey, I just want to meet up real quick. As soon as they join, you can then lock your personal room so that nobody else can join the personal room until that that meeting is done and you unlock it, then anyone else can join in again. So that's the difference between meetings and personal rooms. You can get your personal room URL uh, by logging into fzsd.webex.com. You're just gonna use your email address and your password just like you would anything else. Your personal room URL is gonna be listed at the top of the page. Right underneath that, you're gonna find a more options button. There's a host password there. And the only reason I point this out is if you ever wanted to use your personal room in one of our video conference rooms that we now have, you'll need that host pin. It doesn't change. Your host pin is always your host pin. It doesn't change for you. Um, and that's really everything around personal rooms. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, the next several episodes, we're going to talk a lot more about the technical details of scheduling and using WebEx. So uh, stay tuned.